Welcome to Undisputed Champions, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of mixed martial arts. Join us as we explore the heart-pumping action, legendary fighters, and unforgettable moments that define this thrilling sport. Whether you're a die-hard fan or just getting started, we've got everything you need to become an undisputed champion in your own right. So let's get ready to rumble! In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most exciting rising stars in the UFC, better known as Alexa Grasso. Not only is she an accomplished fighter with a record of 16-3, but she's also made history by becoming the first Mexican-born UFC women's champion. In this video, we'll dive into her journey to becoming the undisputed women's flyweight champ, her recent victory against Valentina Shevchenko, and her impressive accomplishments inside the octagon. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about the remarkable Alexa Grasso. Starting from the humble beginnings in her native Mexico to becoming the UFC women's flyweight champion. For the winner, by submission, due to a rear naked choke, and... No! UFC undisputed flyweight champion of the world! Grasso began her professional MMA career in December 2012 in Mexico. She was undefeated for the first 18 months of her career with 5 wins and 0 losses. After a year away from the sport, Grasso made her Invicta FC debut on September 6, 2014 against Ashley Cummins at Invicta FC 8. Good uppercut, transition to a double leg sometime, drives Grasso against the cage, switches to a single leg now. And it's a very smart strategy right now. Um, you know, going against a boxer like that who you haven't seen a lot on the ground with, getting her to the ground and testing that right away is smart. You know, Winning the fight via unanimous decision. In her second fight for the promotion, she faced Alita Gray on December 5th, 2014 at Invicta FC 10. Connects with a right hand and Gray has lightning quick hand speed and Gray already in trouble. Oh, wow, those uppercuts. Rosso lighting her up like a proverbial Christmas tree as we enter the holiday season. But Gray able to clinch and try to smother the attack of Grasso. And that was a nice knee. You can see this is actually where Gray can become dangerous when she gets her fans up. Winning the fight via TKO in the first round. Grasso then faced Mizuki Inoue on February 27th, 2015 in the co-main event at Invicta FC 11, winning the fight by unanimous decision and earning her the first fight of the night bonus award. On August 11th, 2016, Grasso signed with the UFC and faced Heather Joe Clark on November 5th, 2016 at the Ultimate Fighter Latin America 3 finale in Mexico City, Mexico. She won the fight by unanimous decision. Grasso then faced Felicia Herrick on February 4th, 2017 at UFC Fight Night 104, losing the fight by unanimous decision, which was the first defeat in her professional career. On August 5, 2017, Grasso faced Ronda Marcos at UFC Fight Night, Pettis vs. Moreno. Although she suffered from a urinary tract infection and was medically advised to stop cutting weight, she went on to win the fight via split decision. Grasso faced Tatiana Suarez on May 19, 2018 at UFC Fight Night 129, losing the fight via a rear naked choke in round one. She was scheduled to face Angela Hill on August 25, 2018 at UFC Fight Night 135, but was forced to withdraw due to a knee injury. Grasso faced Karolina Kowalkowicz on June 8, 2019 at UFC 238, winning the fight by unanimous decision. She then faced Carla Esparza on September 21, 2019 at UFC on ESPN Plus 17 losing the fight by majority decision, which earned her the Fight of the Night Award. Grasso was scheduled to face Claudia Gadella on January 18, 2020 at UFC 246, but was forced to pull out after missing weight by 5.5 pounds. She then moved up to flyweight and faced Ji Yong Kim on August 29, 2020 at UFC Fight Night 175, winning the fight via unanimous decision. Grasso faced Macy Barber on February 13th, 2021 at UFC 258. On the scale, making 126 pounds. By Grasso defensively. What does that mean? 
Good. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Coming nice up word. on three and a half minutes. Oh! Well, it all begins with the hands for Alexa Grasso, yes, and she is in the zone. Allow Macy to get her wits about her a little bit, <laughs> try to clear the cobweb. They're trying to get it back. Instead, she sat back when Alexa got in the ring. She was able to... So, a lot of people wondered how she'd hold up physically in this situation. Not at all. No, she's a legitimate flyweight now. Go up. Mm. Two minutes here to go in round two. Ooh, Barber with a big left hand. But I mean, Grasso has taken these shots and they have landed clean. DC, I'm being told that SO means that. Oh, there you go. Right? Winning the fight via unanimous decision. Grasso was scheduled to face Joanne Wood on November 20th, 2021 at UFC Fight Night 198. Joanne Wood is here. She is a plus 220 underdog tonight. Grosso in white. JoJo taking the center of the octagon in black. Joanne is an incredible tie boxer. And, you know, the legs are obviously longer than the arms. So I said, I said, are you going to use a lot of kicks? And she said, as I mentioned on the walk, no. Because judges score punches more than kicks. I thought that was a very interesting observation. Well, because at times she has done a really good job with her legs in fighting at range, and the, the scorecards have not gone in her direction. I think a teammate of hers very recently yeah. did the same thing. So she's a bit discouraged to fight in her style. Yeah. So she's made a bit of adjustment to the way that she will approach her fights, trying to appease what they feel the judges are looking for uh, today. But was forced to withdraw due to injury and was replaced by Taila Santos. On August 13, 2022, Grasso was supposed to fight Vivian Arujo at UFC on ESPN 41. Get back to her feet. Oh, kick up top. Nice left high kick. That's the second time that's come up. I and mean, it comes up so quick. She doesn't like switch step, it just she leans back and just flops it up there. That's one of the kicks we saw last. But due to visa issues, the bout was canceled. However, the fight was rescheduled for October 15th, 2022 at UFC Fight Night 212. And Grasso won the bout by unanimous decision. Grasso then went on to face Valentina Shevenko. Oh, nice elbow on the break. The visual, look at these knees to the body. Look at this. Darts in, she covers distance very well. Nice right hand. For the UFC Women's Flyweight Championship at UFC 285 on March 4th, 2023. In the fourth round of the fight, Grasso secured a face crank and emerged as the winner, becoming the first ever Mexican-born UFC Women's Champion. This victory also earned Grasso her first performance of the night bonus award. And that concludes our video on Alexa Grasso, the undisputed women's flyweight champion of the UFC. From her impressive career as a Mexican mixed martial artist to her recent victory against Valentina Shevchenko, Grasso has proven to be a force to be reckoned with in the octagon. We congratulate her on becoming the first Mexican-born UFC women's champion and wish her continued success in her career. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more MMA content.